Should I? Shouldn't I? No, I My don't. pleasure. Oh, a meal to go with the ale, please. This will be the one. Got it for you right here. Hmm. We'll see. Now I'm for the chop. Enjoy it. Money, money, money. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig! <laughs> Did <laughs> to find him! <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau, I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God save their bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but to... what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... Buyers around! <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. 
I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he? He's hiding under the table, maybe. <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. <sighs> yeah. Go on, your grace. Show him what for. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Let him have it, Sir Hans. Beat him down. Give that bastard something to remember you by. That'll show him. That'll show him. Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? Well, answer me, damn you! This peasant. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! to- Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> You spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting? Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what, you can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Well, him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sir, I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not I anymore. Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the pre- Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. She stay where? With Herman, of course.
Jesus! at least dress decently before showing your face in public. So I asked for a high price, and he says, that's fine, and started counting out the coin there and then. Just like that. What I heard about him, he's a right skin flint. And what did Betty have to say? She was well pleased, as you can imagine. Even more when I told her Tonda will take everything she makes. That's great. A bit of extra coin never hurts.